everybody. Dave Brown and Corey Macklin here at ringside. We're ready to go with another day of USWA Championship Wrestling. Not one, but two championship matches today. Middleweight, middleweight title right here in this ring. And the Southern title will be defended right here on TV today. Well, that's exactly right, Dave. We've got all of that today. And not only that, we've got Simply Divine, Rex King, and Steve Dahl. The USWA Tag Champions and the King, Jerry Lawler. Oh, yeah. the other day as well. In action, we've got a full day of USWA Championship Wrestling. I'm ready to get it on. Oh, we're going to get on with it here. The middleweight bout is going to be coming up when we return. You stay with us. All right. Wouldn't it be nice if life could be a little easier? Hello? <laughs> South Central Bell has lots of services that can help. And if you call now, you can get them connected free. You probably know how handy call waiting is. My calls get through too. With call return, your phone can call back the last number that called you. And with my favorite, call block. Unwanted callers can't call back. Best of all, there's no charge to connect these services and others. <laughs> if you call now, that's 1-800-331-BELL. Order call waiting, call return, or call block now, and the connection is free. Call South Central Bell toll-free, 1-800-331-BELL. Make your life a touch easier. Call South Central Bell now. The, the race to 500, 500 is on! Auto Used cards! Loaded 92 Mazda 323 program cards, $149 a month. Loaded Miata convertibles, $239 a month. And 92 Hyundai scoops, only $159 a month. Get a free oil change at 3,000 miles. Complete wax and detailing at 7,500 miles with any Homer Skelton Autoplex used car. It's a race to 500! Homer Skelton's hot used car corner. Pleasant view at Covington Pike. Homer Skelton Autoplex. When your job gives you a powerful headache, you need powerful relief. Power, BC Power. No matter where you're hurt, you need the power of BC. BC Power in the powder, the power of BC. When you need strong relief, BC stops pain fast. The power of BC. Hey, we got the uh, middleweight uh, championship match coming up here in just a moment. Wolfie D is going to be going against Master of Terror. Danny Davis, the, the fans around here, I think uh, I think most of us still consider this belt to be Danny Davis's belt. And I'm just wondering if you have a have any kind of prediction on the match. Well, you know, thank you for the you know compliment there, but I've never considered the middleweight title my belt. I've always considered it the wrestling fans' belt. I've just been the one fortunate enough to wear it. Now, as far as predictions go, everybody knows that in the wrestling world. Anything can happen. I'm not going to make any predictions about what's going to happen today during this middleweight title match, but there's one thing I know for sure, Dave, and that's the Master of Terror, and I'm talking to you, Master of Terror. You know me. I know you. And Whoopi D, it's not that I dislike you or hate you, but I am going to pull for the Master of Terror to beat you today. And you know why? Because the Master of Terror figures that you are an easier opponent than I was. That's why he came out here and cost me the title right here last week. Because he figures he could beat you. Maybe he can, maybe he can't. But he knew good and well that he couldn't beat Nightmare Danny Davis. That's why he came out from behind, knocked me out, and put you on top of me. Well, let me tell you something. Right here today, I'm going to pull for you, Master Terry, because I want you to beat Wolfie D. You know why? Because you're the man that cost me that title last week, and I want to be the man to take it away from you. Do you understand? Well, there's Danny. No, uh, Danny. Wait, wait. Hey, Danny. Before you leave. Before you leave here, uh, we didn't even talk about it. You've got a match coming up here today, the Southern title against Brian Christopher. <laughs> well, I, I guess you can see that i got a lot on my mind, and maybe I'm a little nervous, you know. But let me tell you something, Brian Christopher. I don't know what's going on in your mind, but one thing for sure I know you've been doing. You've been ducking Jeff Jarrett. You've been ducking Jerry Lawler because all of us know that you're a big chicken. Well, let me tell you something. You signed this match right here on TV today with Danny Davis because you thought that Danny Davis was going to be an easy opponent for you. Well, let me tell you something. Just because there's 20 pounds difference 
in the heavyweight and the middleweight division. Don't think for one minute that Danny Davis is going to be a cakewalk because Danny Davis has never been a cakewalk for anybody. Every time I step into that ring, I step in for one thing on my mind, and that's to defeat my opponent. And with the support of these fans, I'll walk away with a Southern title right here today. All right, Danny, a big day coming up for Danny right here. Let's get this match underway. The USWA middleweight title is going to be at stake. Wolfie D will be defending against the Master of Terror. What a what a That's Mark Brennan. What is he doing here? A middleweight title. Aloha from Hawaii to my dear friend Dave Brown. Aloha. Corey Macklin. You're not you're not even supposed to be around here, and you know why. We've got I am. The people want to hear. I'm gonna sing you a lullaby. Tiny bubble in the sand. Tiny bubble. Make me feel fine. Everybody's been asking about me every week. I've been performing to sell out crowds with Don Ho in Honolulu for three weeks. And now, now I get a telegram from Papa Shango that he has defeated Jerry Lawler for the world belt. Eddie Marl is not here today, but you're not associated with the USWA. You don't have anything to do with it. The last three matches you were booked in, you didn't show up. So you can just walk out of here right now. We don't need you in here. Yep. No show for three straight matches, and you're not affiliated. So uh, we, if you affiliated. don't mind, we've got the middleweight title you match. Thank you, guy, here. for backing us up. Let me Let's tell go. you something, you good-for-nothing Eddie Marlin stooge. You're nothing but trash and trouble. Your little hairpiece has affected your brain, punk. How does it feel to be the last one who ever gets touched by the rain? Don't touch me. Let me tell you something. If you don't want me here, I'll leave. But with me goes the unified world belt. Because I am Papa Shango's manager. I control the belt. Now it's up to you. We'll talk about this at school. We definitely have something to talk about. So good to see you. Well, uh, Bert Print is claiming to be Papa Shango's manager anyway. He does have a telegram there, but I couldn't, uh, I was trying to read over his shoulder and I couldn't see what it said. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, anyway, oh, oh, first printed. Well, here comes uh, PG-13, J.C. Ice leading away. Wolfie D, the USWA middleweight champion, somewhat surprisingly. Yeah, indeed. But he is the champion, and he's defending it here today against the Master of Terror. And here comes Guy Coffee out again, probably with the word that... Uh, Bert Prentice has, uh, has been sent out uh, here. You got, wait, well, you're calling uh, Dave, J.C. This is the championship match. We're not going to have any interference. This is going to be a match one-on-one. -on -one. Jamie, you can go in the back. Yes. My goodness. Can he agree? If any interference, this is going to be one-on-one. -on -one. I agree with you. All right. I, I, I absolutely applaud that. And, you know, even surprisingly uh, a little bit, uh, uh, J.C. Uh, Ice uh, didn't offer any resistance. He's headed out of here. Wolfie D in the ring. Master Terry hits the ring. Jumps on him as he goes flying through there and uh, goes to work on Wolfie D. Big suplex takes him over. Hey, if he didn't cover. Only two, though. So Wolfie D kicks out of it at two. T.D. still is referee. We've got a sanction bout here today, Dave. The middleweight title is on the line. Master of Terror wants the belt. Wolfie D is trying to hang on to it. Wolfie D is the champion, as you stated, and Wolfie in against the massive Tara. Tara coming in out of Parks Unknown. Comes in off the heart buckle. Nice hip toss for Wolfie D. Drop kick takes him down. Good move from Wolfie D. What a half of PG-13, and he's done a... Pretty good job. You got to give him credit. Done a pretty good job in wrestling single in there. <laughs> Crowd's behind uh, Wolfie D here, no doubt about it. Wolfie D, half a PG-13 wrestling from the hood. Been 
defending his middleweight title here today on TV. Well, we've got a wall of a program for you today. Don't forget the Southern Heavyweight title bout. Still to come and much, much more right here on USWA Championship Wrestling. Want to stick around for all of it. Reversal here, Whoopi whoops him in. Tried to go for the hip toss, Master Power. Hung on in there and took Whoopi down. Good arm drag, takes him down. And that's the terror bar is the left arm of Whoopi D. Holding on to Whoopi D. Fans getting behind Whoopi. And, uh, he's got the master terror now. Oh, threading the middle with a right hand. Oh, Terra pulls him by his hair. Pulls him right down to the mat. Boy, he yanked him right by his hair. Yeah, he yanked a handful. He's not happy that you're pointing that out either. The master of terror isn't, but he certainly did. Man, it was flagrant violation. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, uh, the referee was not able to uh, see it at, uh, at the time as he was moving around to get in position better. Bad for Whoopi. Whoopi blocks the right hand. Oh, catches the boot though from Massive Terra. Now he's got him covered. One, two. Whoopi D kicks out at two. Looked like he had him there for a moment. He had him yeah, down for the two count and it looked like he would make three, but then Whoopi D threw him off of there. I Amen. thought he had him. Hey, Whoopi may have him here. Only one. Sunset flip, but it wouldn't hold uh, on the Master Terror. Master Terror popped his ear. Oh, his master broke that one up. Master Terror is some kind of tough wrestler. Boy, he can go in there. Yep. Moves quickly around the ring. Both Whoopi D over. Go for the pin. Two. Whoopi up at two. Let us see what kind of wrestler Wolfie D is as a single here today. Uh, you, you almost expect him to look to that corner for his tag team partner, uh, J.C. Ice, to be there, but he's not. He's out here all by himself defending the middleweight title, which, of course, is the way it should be. Yep. Wolfie D standing up on his feet still. Tara throws his left him into the top buckle, and Wolfie D reverses it. Flames him again right into the turn buckle. goes down. Whoopi covers him. One, two. He gets up at two. Master Chair has got excedrate headache number ten because ten times his head hit that top <laughs> turnbuckle as Wolfie D tried to take control. Yeah, situation number ten for Master Chair. Big butt drop from BG-13. Wolfie D covers. Only oh, had one, though. Picked up Tara. Oh, boy. Referee TD still got the boot as Whoopi went around in there. Yeah, that was in at Burton, but the referee got knocked down on the spin there. Whoopi D climbing the ropes. Look out. He does that backflip off. What is this? A Another master of terror climbing the rope. Drops down on Wolfie D. Oh, look at that. That's a, yeah, another master of terror comes in here. Slams down on Whoopi. That master of terror's got him covered. The one that was originally scheduled for the bout. Covers and gets the one, two, three. We've got a new middleweight champion. Thanks to Master Sarah coming in here. Yeah, the other guy came in. A big guy. Dressed up just like the Master of Terror. The referee picks up the middleweight belt, takes it to the ring, and uh, J.C. Ice is in there trying to tell T.D. Steele what happened. There was interference, and, and I can I can tell you, J.C. is saying, look, they sent me out of here so I wouldn't interfere. I didn't. I honored that. I didn't come in here interfering, and now all of a sudden a guy comes in from outside. Yeah, J.C. is saying it was two of them dressed up. It was two of them is what he's explaining. Oh, look at Tara, though. Grabs out on J.C. with the title. J.C. grabs the up cap. Now it's out of Tara. Here comes Master Tara, the other one in there. G13! Those are work on the Masters of Terror! That's got Master Terror 1 in there. He rolls out with the middleweight title. And now they go ahead and out of here. New champion, though. We'll be back after this. It's time for a word from Snowbird. And remember the time the ninjas almost got me? Marvin, I thought you were shish kebab. Oh, man. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah well, uh, did I ever tell you guys about um, uh, surfing the Amazon River? What? Yeah, I was um, uh, escaping from these hungry man-eating carrots when I found myself uh, surfing into a school of deadly piranha. Well, Mo, you're making this up. No, no, guys, I'm telling you, those carrots were vicious. You've never been to the Amazon. You're lying. Well, no, I'm... <laughs> Well, Lo, you don't have to make up stories for us. Making up stories to impress your friends is lying. Just tell the truth, and you'll have lots of friends. And lots of stories. Honest! This word from Snowbird is brought to you by TV5. Dateline Meats presents its Super Steak Sale. 300 pounds of meat for $150. 200 pounds of choice beef, including steaks, roast, ground beef, and more. Plus, a free bonus, 100 pounds of pork and poultry. That's 300 pounds of meat for $150. Charge it or 90 days, same as cash. Open a new account and receive 100 free steaks, 50 top sirloin, 50 top ribeye. All meats are fully guaranteed with 20 cents per pound processing. That's 300 pounds of meat for $150. Call 393-0227. Hi folks, Dan Walters at Performance Toyota in Memphis. If you like me, get dressed up in your boots and jeans. Hey, you're ready to step out of a tough Toyota truck. Well, listen, I got some great news for you. Right now, we've got them on sale. In fact, here's what we're going to do. You come in, you can buy any tough Toyota sports truck in our giant inventory. Tough, rugged, fun to drive. Hey, we'll sell it to you at $500 below the factory invoice. And we'll show you the invoice. That's what we paid. You take off $500, that's what you pay. <laughs> Is this a great country or what? One place, a truck buyer's Performance Toyota, Mount Moriah at Mendenhall. You come and see it. The King is making his way over here. Want to talk to him just a little bit. And uh, in uh, just a moment, we'll check some of the action coming up around the territory. But uh, good, crowd, good crowd today. This is a terrific crowd here today. You've got a couple of things I know you want to talk about. Uh, you're uh, concerned about weather, which I think is going to be pretty good tomorrow. <laughs> you know, uh, last time we had one of our big softball games scheduled, I think it was up in Humboldt, Tennessee, which, by the way, that game has been rescheduled to June the 6th. Thanks to that big, uh, you told me it was going to be beautiful, told me the game was going to get through, and I think like uh, Hurricane Hugo blew through there. Yeah, so. the, the rain was pretty, though, <laughs> right? The rain was nice, yeah, <laughs> right. But tomorrow, you're guaranteeing me, well, not guaranteeing me, but it's going to be great, right? Right. Tomorrow's going to be beautiful. We're going to be up in Jackson, Tennessee tomorrow uh, with my softball team up there, and we're going to be up in Jackson at, at Tobe Field at 1 o'clock. Uh, we got a big double header. One game is going to be against the Eddie Martin, not Eddie Marlin, Eddie Martin Construction Company, which is one of the top teams in all of West Tennessee, going to be playing up there. The other game is going to be against Brian's Bombers. That's right, Brian, Brian Christopher, and um, I, I don't know, is it Scotty Flamingo or Johnny Polo now? It could be either one. Yeah. It, depends, it depends on what part of town it, uh, he's moving through at a particular time. <laughs> exactly. Well, anyway, Brian Christopher and Johnny Polo are both going to be there in Jackson. We're going to just going to see how well they can play softball. And uh, that's to benefit the Jackson Senior Baseball League up there, so we want to invite everybody out. This Tobe Field up there is a beautiful facility. It's right there on Muse Street in Jackson, Tennessee. One o'clock tomorrow, we're going to be signing autographs and pictures for everybody. And it's going to be a lot of fun. And also, I, I think, uh, you know, we do this every, try to do this every weekend where we travel out around the uh, area and help raise money for uh, different uh, charities and different organizations. And we have a telephone number here, I think, about, there it is right there. If you'd like to have our softball team come to your area on a weekend, the number to call is area code 901-358-2924. Mr. Guy Coffee is the guy who schedules all of our uh, softball games we'll be more than glad and and by the way the teams that we play can get to come down here and be on tv on saturdays and we'll recognize them that way too and so anyway like i said tomorrow we're going to be up in jackson tennessee looking forward to seeing everybody up there one other thing i want to talk about real quick right here is the fact that there is a new uswa hotline out and uh i think we have that telephone number there it is right there 1-900-773-5464 that's the new uswa hotline and there's all kinds of good information on that thing. Uh, it, it tells where everybody's going to be, of course. And it tells a, a, a lot of information about things that are going on in the USWA. There's an interview with the star of the week on there every week. And I understand there's even going to be a little uh, segment starting on there starting next week called Jennifer's Gossip. There's a, a young lady who is apparently going to be delving into the private lives of all the USWA stars and trying to dig up a lot of, uh, be easy to dig up dirt on Brian Christopher and Johnny Polo, I'm sure, but uh, uh, that's going to be on there. Also, there's some information on there right now. You can call this number right now. There's a lot of information 
about a new movie that is coming out. It's all the details are on the hotline. Look at that. There it is right there. You go ahead, show it. Where's the, where's the uh, movie picture there? Well, there's the hotline. I don't see. We saw it. It's coming. There it is. Isn't that Michael J. Fox? That's it. Jeff Jarrett, Michael J. Fox, and that's me right there with the mask on. And somebody said I should wear that mask more often. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we're in a new movie coming out with Michael J. Fox, and all the information is on the hotline about that. So uh, give it a call. It's 1-900-773-5464. And I want to mention, too, that uh, coming up Monday night, thanks to the fine people at Red Man, there's going to be a Red Man Rumble, a uh, battle it's called the Battle Bowl 93, mm -hmm. and ten thousand dollars at stake in this my part my partner is coco Ware, and i can't wait till monday night yeah. it's gonna be big it okay is, it is gonna be big thank you king and wait till you see all the names that are going to be in that big match coming right. up i'll be back in just a little bit because i got a match with reggie b fine i can't wait for that either Ooh, all right uh -huh. we'll see you in just a few minutes thanks for the information by the way i want to mention one thing too before uh, before you uh, cover the out-of-town action there's a big hugs not drugs concert going on at overton park today starts at noon goes till 10 o'clock Big names in Memphis music, a Target reunion, Jimmy Jameson, one of the great bands of all times in this town, John Kilzer band, Kevin Page, Joyce Cobb, many, many more yeah, understands yeah. musicians from the Allman Brothers and Leonard Skinner may also show up between noon and 10 o'clock at Overton Park today for Hugs Not Drugs. Corey, how about the out-of-town action? Yes, sir. It starts May 21st, Malden, Missouri. Scalding and Malden. Jeff Jarrett on the card. You see now my Danny Davis. Brian Christopher, the bird man to be there. Coco Beware, King and Doll. Miss Texas, also the Young Stallions, PG-13 on the card. It's a big night in Malden, Scalded in Malden. Friday night, May 21st in Malden, Missouri. Friday night, May 28th, 8 p.m. in Covington, Tennessee. There in, uh, well, Jonesboro, Arkansas. Let's check Jonesboro, Arkansas. That's coming up May 23rd in Jonesboro. Saturday, next Saturday in Jonesboro at the Old Bell Community Center. Down on Church Street, the king will be there. Jerry Lawler, Jeff Jarrett, the Birdman, Coco Beware. Brian Christopher, PG-13, all lined up for next Saturday night, 8 o'clock, bell time, in Jonesboro, Arkansas, at the Old Bella Community Center. Coming up Friday night, May 28th, 8 o'clock p.m., bell time, Covington, Tennessee. National Guard Army in Covington. Jerry Lawler, Coco Ware will be there. Jeff Jarrett will be there. Rex King and Steve Dahl. Brian Christopher, Danny Davis, all of the fine people. Master Tara, I don't know if both of them will be over there or not, but they'll be lined up in Covington. Coming up Friday, May 28th, Thursday, June 3rd. Crenshaw, Mississippi. Crenshaw, Jim. You see the people in Crenshaw. Jeff Jarrett, Brian Christopher, many more stars in Crenshaw. Thursday, June 3rd. Friday, June 4th. Corns, Mississippi. Corns, Mississippi. Uh, championship wrestling. Jerry Lawler, Jeff Jarrett, and many more stars in Corns, Mississippi. Coming up Friday, June 4th. Same night. Kenneth, Missouri. At the American Legion building. All the USWA top stars in Kenneth. And Friday, June 18th. In Batesville, Mississippi, the South Panola High School Championship Wrestling. And coming soon, West Point, Mississippi, and Cleveland, Mississippi, USWA Championship Wrestling is on tour. The King is back. Man, Corey's talking so fast, his uh, lip's going to need shock absorbers there in a minute. <laughs> You're really going that way. <laughs> Tell you what, hey, uh, real quick, Andre, could I get, it's not often that we get a, the chance to bring the people out that uh, work behind the scenes here, but Andre is our floor director. Could I, Andre, could you come out here for just one second? Hey, good morning, Andre. Yeah. <laughs> now, a lot of, usually Coach Bob Crone does our floor directing, but today Andre is filling in. And you're the guy that takes care of all of the technical stuff, make sure everything's right, right? Right. Okay. Uh, I have a little problem in the back. And my dressing room, and Jeff Jarrett's dressing room, the, the <laughs> monitor that we get to watch the show on is completely out. Okay. And so it makes it real difficult if we can't see what's going on. We don't know when to be out here okay. or when not to be out here. Can you fix that I'll for I'll take care for you, King. See, I got you on TV to do uh, that. All right. <laughs> Say hi to Mom and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> okay, we'll get the monitors fixed there. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, King. Is that all the out-of-town action? Yeah, that's going to be all of it. Hey, and don't forget the 900 number. The new USWA hotline is 1-900-773-5464. The King and I are on the hotline this week. A lot of great USWA news on the 1-900 hotline. We'll take a break. We'll be back with the King in the ring. Stay there. Ladies, we're so excited right now at Airport Toyota, and you will be too. I'm Suzanne, General Manager of Airport Toyota, inviting you to come see us and see for yourself. Right now, the choice is yours. Drive home in a new air-conditioned Camry or new full-size air-conditioned T100 pickup, just $239 a month. And the deal that's really got Memphis excited, new Airport Toyota pickups, 93 down, 93 a month for all of 93. Get excited and get to Airport Toyota. Right off the expressway, right on the money. No brands from I-240.
This summer offer is brought to you by Pepsi. Empty five ice cold bottles, save the caps, and get 10 bucks off three box footwear and apparel. Just like the big guy cares. Only four more to go. Dennis Hall's Auto Salvage, home of a million parts. Call or come by 3100 Gill Road and see Dennis Hall's large inventory of both domestic and foreign parts. Bumper to bumper body parts used in rebuilt engines and transmissions. They also specialize in both new and used glass replacement for all makes and models of cars and trucks. For steering column and duct repair, Dennis Hall's guarantees the lowest prices in Memphis. Hi, I'm Chris. Real deal coffee for the best prices in town. Come on down. too high? Trim your payments now at Schaefer's Bluff City Nissan. Lease a 93 four-door Sentra with automatic only $82 per month or buy it for $10,995. Lease a 93 Altima for $115 per month or buy it for only $12,995. Or lease a 93 Maxima for $169 per month or buy it for only $16,995. You can trim your car payments now at Bluff City Nissan. Get well at I-240. Schaefer's Bluff City Nissan. South, the legal drinking age is 21, but is the law in force? Can underage kids buy liquor? I'm Susan Rodman. We took our Action News 5 cameras undercover to bars and liquor stores, and what we found will shock you. Do underage kids have a license to drink? Find out starting Monday at 10 on Action News 5. No, I'm just checking right here, and the uh, USWA World Tag Team Champions are due to stop by just for a moment for uh, a bit of... I thought Guy Coffey told Bert Prentice that he was out of here. Here's uh, Steve Dahl and Rex King, but what are you doing like here again? Like the song says, I'm so excited, look at this! Ladies, get out the cold water, because here they are! Two of the hottest men, not in the USWA, not in the wrestling business, two of the hottest men in the whole world, and we're taking over. Now, I have a big announcement to make to any wrestlers watching this show. If you want to go to the WWF, I am the way to get there. Now that I manage the USWA Unified Title Holders, I manage Papa Shango, one of the biggest box office attractions in the WWF, I control things. I can make a call to Jack Tunney and get you a job tomorrow. Give me a call if you're worthy at all. I can have you headline in WrestleMania, SummerSlam, the Survivor Series, the Royal Rumble, and the King of the Ring. Which Jerry Lawler isn't even in, so some king he is. Are you through with the commercial? Well, no. I have a bigger announcement than that. Because right now... I'm going to sign Simply Divine. The doll man and the sexiest man alive, Rex King, are going to sign. And now I'm going to manage the world tag team champions and the unified champions. Give me a pin, Give, me a, pin. Give me a pin. Give I me a pin. pin. Bert Prentice has done it again. It's a signature. Well, they're signed. Oh, go, may, may I see that? Look here. Oh, there's your golly, it is. Yes. Standard contract. Yeah, ready to go. We, uh, well, you've done it. You've signed them. Call me, ladies and gentlemen. If you, lady wrestler, man wrestler, midget wrestler, I can get you in the WWF tomorrow. I have the connections. Look at this team. Well, there, 
yeah, okay. They're, they're the world champions. I want to talk to them, as a matter of fact. I want to talk to them about this big match, which is coming up with $10,000 to the winning team. Great wrestlers in it. I wanted to talk just about this, Dave. You know, it's like this. 10,000 big ones, baby. We're going to make a very large deposit in the bank come Tuesday morning. And whoever's in the ring with us, they're just going to be sorry they ever seen Simply Divine. Well, I don't know if you've seen the list of everybody that's going to be here. Battle Bowl 93, nine teams, 18 of the greatest wrestlers anywhere around. Listen, baby, you're looking at the cream of the crop right here. And we just hope, we just hope today in the ring that we've got somebody like Jeff Jarrett, somebody like Jerry Lawler, somebody like the Harlem Knights, the Moondogs. It don't matter because the bottom line is this. When we get done with our opponents today, there'll be 16 men. We're cutting them down. We're going to lower the odds. We're walking out with all the gold, all the money, the WWF, and the whole ball of wax. Because it's like this day, Brown, when you're the greatest team in the sport of professional wrestling today. They don't just call you a great tag team. What do they call you, baby? They call you simply divine. Rex kick. And I want to tell you one other thing. The price of ice water is going up in all the arenas because when these two hot, hot men walk out, you're going to just have to cool off, girl. Take it up, baby. Uh, Steve Dahl and Rex King. Simply divine, they call themselves. They wear the USWA tag team titles. Bert Prentice has just signed them. My goodness, he has just signed them. Let's take a look, though, at just some, well, all of the people who are going to be involved in Battle Bowl 93 this week. Watch. Battle Bowl 93 coming very, very soon in the ring right now. There's the king and his opponent down running his mouth, talking to the crowd. <laughs> Reggie B. Fine. Oh. There he is challenging everyone in the place. He better pay attention to the man standing in the ring. That's one problem Reggie has had is focus. Difficult to keep it. He's got an, a, a very short attention span. And <laughs> he better... He better look in the ring. Yeah, my goodness. I mean, he's standing there. The king of wrestling is waiting for him in the ring, and Reggie is out here uh, talking to the fans. Well, well, one good point about it, uh, if you want to give Reggie a little credit, maybe he wants to challenge the fans instead of law. Well, he might have might have a lot better luck, <laughs> yeah, the truth, depending, so. depending on who accepted the challenge. Indeed. Reggie B. Five. Boy, let me tell you. And Lawler, oh, he gets out. Oh, well, look what he there. challenged him. He challenged a little kids at all in there. Oh, I know. Oh, man. Oh, Reggie, boy. Lawler saying, Reggie, come on. T.D., the referee, T.D. Steele says, ring the bell. Well, that'll at least get him uh, get him in the ring. Uh, well, halfway in the ring. He's still challenging. Oh, well, the, the last person he's challenging can't be more than eight years old. <laughs> oh, gee. Come on, Reggie. <laughs> Oh, him up. He got it. One, two, three. He got him. Oh, the king. Kyle Lawler gets the one, two, three. Hundred feet by his gold buzzer. Oh, my. That's what he gets for pulling that kind of stuff. Hundred feet by. Goes in the feet of the king. Kyle Lawler. Oh, what a 
sweet victory for Lawler. That match lasted uh -huh. five seconds. <laughs> five <laughs> seconds as the King <laughs> beat Reggie B. Fine. Reggie B. paying too much attention to everything else. Hey! <laughs> hey, Reggie B. Reggie B. Fine. Let me just say this. Let me say something. You know what? I didn't really work up a sweat, but I do need a shower after that match, and I'd suggest you take a shower next time before you wrestle. <laughs> yeah, Reggie B. Fine headed back for the dressing room after a humiliating five-second defeat by the king, Jerry Lawler. He just dropped his shoulders down. Boom, one, two, three. TD counted, <laughs> TD counted and it was uh, over. Yeah, the king says he better say, oh, boy, I'm about sick of Burke Prentice. Yeah, I am too, but he's leading the world tag team champions in here. Rex King and Steve Dahl, Simply Divine, they call themselves. Their opponents in the ring right here, Kenny and Richie Hutchings, underdogs by a wide margin going against the world champions, but looking to make a quick name for themselves here today if they can defeat or even turn in a, 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 a very good outing against the world champion. Wait, King Doll. You know, Burt Prentice comes out here, signed Simply Divine, King and Doll. The USWA Tag Champion, big plus for Prentice. But boy, he can just get on your nerves. Let me take it, little Burt Prentice. Boy. In an instant, he's on your nerves. That's uh, Ricky Hutchings in the ring. And Simply Divine, King and Doll has got Ricky. Bounce him off the top rope, boy. No, they just leave him laying there. Right on that top rope, they dropped him down. Here comes Kenny, Ricky's brother in. Kenny hunting. They take Kenny off, man. Drop him right on that top turnbuckle. Kenny Hutchings thrown out of the ring. There he is down on the floor, and that leaves Ricky in there to battle Rex King. Oh, boy. King and Dahl come in. Yeah, they take no prisoners here today. They go out to Kenny and Ricky Hutchings. Bert Prince is out here with a Hawaii shirt and all on. Well, there are some places that you love to go to and love to travel, but when guys like Bert Prince says that he's been there, it makes you just, I don't even think about it. Gang and Dahl just really running wild here, proving that they are the world champions. You know what it reminds me of a little bit? Remember a few years ago when Nebraska always had that great football team and every yeah. week they beat somebody 65 to nothing? That's what Rex King and Steve Dahl are trying to do right here is run up the score against these guys. Yeah, they're at about 50 already. Boy, they go to work on Kenny and Ricky. Big power slam on Ricky Hutchings. Man, and Dahl and King just not letting up. USWA World Tag Team Champions are simply divine. And it's been a long day work over for Ricky Hutchings. Hadn't had a chance to tag his partner, his brother over there, Kenny. Gets over and takes Ken. Now Rex King just threw him into the corner so he could make the tag. Again, the arrogance is shown by King and Dahl. They figure they can beat anybody. And especially two young guys like the Hutchings brothers. Oh, boy. Big suplex. Big suplex on Kenny Hutchings. Ah, right, look at this. You see, he had a good had him pin. He's just humiliating Kenny is what he's doing in there. Dumping on him. Tag Steve Dahl. Dahl gets in. Tag Rex King. King on the top rope. Dahl's holding on to Kenny Hutchings. And a big slam as he comes off. Pulls him up, one, two, three, and knock Ricky off the apron and get the win. Well, Simply divine. Finally went for the pin, and they got it. Rex King and Steve Dahl, Burt Prentice, their manager, have the victory here today against the Hutchings, but maybe a different story come Battle Bowl 93 Indeed. when those other teams show up. I tell you what, we got a lot more to go, and we'll be back to talk to Coco Ware in a moment. Mario Brothers 
Ready PG starts Friday, May 28th at a theater near you. Everybody has their own idea of value. At Chevrolet, this is ours. The Chevy S10 Tahoe. It's a rock-solid value with standard rear-wheel anti-lock brakes, air conditioning, AM-FM stereo with cassette, and a powerful V6 engine. For less than the price of a four-cylinder Ford Ranger XLT. Right now, with blackout package, it's yours for under 10 grand. See the Chevy S10 Tahoe at your Mid-South Chevy dealers today. In a hurry? A lot on your plate? An hour of things to do and only half an hour to do them? At Wendy's, we have five fresh salads for people like you. Deluxe garden and grilled chicken salads with a soft breadstick. Taco salads. And we make them fresh every day because that's the way they're best. So if you only have a second, hurry to Wendy's for a salad. They're fresh, fast, and ready to go. Have a nice day. And you can get a delicious Wendy's side salad or Caesar side salad for just 99 cents. Hey, I'll tell you what, Coco Beware should be headed this way. There he is right here, headed this way. The Birdman, you know him. Coco, want to talk to him just a little bit? You know, maybe we can get a comment from him about Bert Prentice out here announcing earlier that he had uh, signed, uh, been signed by Papa Shango as his manager. And we saw him sign uh, Simply Divine, uh, King and uh, Doll out here. Hey, Coco. I don't know if you, I know the monitors have been acting up here, but have you heard that Prentice is now managing Papa Shango and all that sort of the WWF commercial he was doing here? That's the reason why I want to come out here to get the record set, you know, straight here, because this Burt Prentice, he's not managing Papa Shango. Can you believe that? No, I, I, I sort of suspect In that. the I, WWF? You see, Dave, I wrestled in the WWF. Indeed. And you see, I see Vince McMahon, I see the President Jack Tunney, and his name doesn't even exist in the WWF. Okay. And he's saying that he manages Papa Shango. You know, I'm telling you, and he's saying that he can get guys in WrestleMania, you know, SummerSlam. He can't get nobody in the WWF. If he could, he would be, he would be in the WWF himself. He would be right in the WWF himself. Yeah, well, I think you're right. I think there's no doubt about it. He's a con man. That's all he is. Here, well, here he comes right here. And, and I guess... Number one, these are all my fans. And you're not going to come out and lie to him on national television. I do manage Papa Shango, and you better be able to back up what your big mouth is saying, punk. You know good well you don't manage him, Papa Shango. What's wrong with you, you big goop? You know you don't manage him, Papa Shango. Nobody knows you in WWF. Should we embarrass this idiot right now? I guess he hasn't done it enough. Yeah, let's do it anyway. I figured you'd be dumb enough to try to come out here and challenge me. You want some proof? Hey, Rick, come on out here. Come on, let's show this idiot some proof. I shouldn't have to prove myself to nobody. But these people know I've never told a lie in my life. There is my proof. Hey, why don't you put this in your pipe and smoke it, boy? Well, I'll tell you what. That's a unified belt. If you manage the Papa Shango, he's a goof anyway. And if you're going to manage these guys, they're a goof too, because you're nothing but a con artist. You understand that? You're a con man. No, no, no. Apologize to the people. You got out of here and told them a lie. He's a liar. You are a liar. You lie to the people. Admit you lie. And you know what you're going to do to these boys here? You're cutting them out of their they're money. The you're going to take... Nothing but 40% out of their money. Who do you think you are? That's right. You gonna take, who do you think you are? Oh, Coco, now Bert Pernas, but King and Dahl simply divide. Jump on Coco. It's two against one, three against one with Prentice out here. Now it's about two and a half against one, Captain Prentice. Prentice and King and Dahl all jumping on Coco Ware. They got him Prentice up in the ring. They will not do this to me. him out of there, Bert. They jump on uh, referee T.D. Still. Yeah, T.D. was out there, and they, they jumped in. That was what they did. Oh, they got it wrapped around Coco's throat. Coco needs some help. I, you know, I don't know if those monitors are fit. Is Guy Coffee over here? Oh, boy. Right, King has got the belt wrapped around Coco's neck. Chunking Coco, and then while Steve Dahl put pressure. Oh, man. Hey, come on, Bert. Yeah, there comes. Come on, here, Thank you, Guy. Coco Beware, you're not going to have to worry about a WWF because I'm going to end it. Nobody's going to try to humiliate me. Oh, get him out of here, Bert, is what you ought to do. You get him out of here. Man, this is ridiculous. They jump on Coco Ware, Simply Divine, King and Dog. 
And Bert Brennan loving every minute of it. I don't know, but we do need help for Coco. I don't know, Jerry, Jeff. Did you get a chance to buy the coffee? Well, yeah, the, uh, the Hutchings brothers came out here to help. Uh, Guy, if you're over here. Brennan, get him out of here. Come on, man, get him out of here. Boy, they continue choking Coco with that belt. Man, that's hard. Uh, here comes Lawler, my goodness. Hey! The king comes out. And Lawler, I guess we like Lawler may have been in the shower in there. Yeah, after his match, he was in the shower, it looks like. But thank goodness, Guy was able to find him and get, get him. Get out of here. Another respirator. I'm putting up with that stuff. Get out of here. Now, while they, while they attend to Coco, let's... Uh, yeah, let's, let's take a break here, and, and uh, we'll check on it. Feeling good. It's Snowbird's health word. Hurry up, Brandy. We're late. Oh, I am coming. Hi, Snowbird here. Some days it seems like it doesn't pay to get out of bed. The alarm didn't go off, you stubbed your toe on the dresser, you're already late for work, and the kids have to be at school now. Do you really have time for seatbelts? No, we forgot our seatbelt. Not now, honey. Seatbelts save lives, and they only take a moment. Take the time to buckle up. Feeling Good is brought to you by Play It Again Sports and TV5. The only thing hotter than spring fever is Pontiac fever. Yes, Pontiac, the American name place that is import owners turning their heads. The loaded 93 Grand Am. If there's a better buy in the market today, buy it. Now just $1.99 a month for 36 months. The loaded 93 Pontiac Bonneville. Why pay $20,000 more for an overpriced import? Now just $2.99 a month for 36 months to experience real fever. Pontiac fever. See your nearest Price State Pontiac dealer today. Uh, hello, I'm looking for a tail light for an 81 T-Bird. Uh, you wouldn't know if you have one in stock. Sure, when do you need it? I was wondering if you had a bucket seat for a 1980 Capri. Sure do. I can see it from here. Could you help me find a fender for a 1981 Ford truck? Yeah, I'll get right on it. Levy Auto Parts offers a complete line of motor parts, and Levy's continues its fantastic $10 special on a wide variety of used parts. Levy Auto Parts with two Canadian locations, 1720 North Thomas and 1336 North Second. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, uh, we'll check on Coco there in just a moment. Let's, uh, and, and I forgot to check here. Do we have all the changes on the Vitafont for the uh, Memphis car? We'll, we'll hope so here. We do. Okay, okay. thank you. Let's, uh, let's do that right now. Sorry about the housekeeping right here on here. Yeah. Let's check. we got a big night coming up Monday night at the Bit South Coliseum. 7.30 is when it all begins. Remember, Battle Bowl 93 will be at the top of the card, but look at the opening match of the night. Hey. Middleweight title match coming up. Danny Davis will be going against the winner of the TV title match for the middleweight title. And you know who that is now. That is the master of terror who won the match over Wolfie D. The way he did it, uh, you saw it. There was interference from another master of terror who came jumping in there. But master of terror will now be going against Danny Davis. Master of terror has the middleweight belt. Danny Davis, who uh, Danny was, uh, Danny was very nice about it. Said he always considered it the fans' belt. I think, uh, I think the fans uh, considered that uh, it's Danny Davis's belt, and he'll be trying to get it back there in the middleweight title match coming up Monday. Special match then after that. PG-13 going against the Masters of Terror. Yeah, this is uh, this is one of those uh, changes that uh, that came up. Uh, it's been approved, and PG-13 is going to get a shot at both Masters of Terror. Of course, Wolfie D's uh, middleweight belt uh, was lost because of that interference from outside. So uh, J.C. Ice, who, who had agreed, uh, who had agreed not to interfere, and did not. He did not, uh, and yet uh, his partner ends up losing the middleweight title, perhaps as yeah. a result of that. 
but settle it in the ring. And that's the way to do it. Put them in there Monday night, team against team, and we will see what happens. Well, I'm about there. Yeah, then a grudge match coming up after that. You got oh, Jeff Jarrett going against Brian Christopher. I want to talk to Jeff a little bit later on about uh, about this particular match because I know Jeff would much rather it say, rather than grudge match, I know he would much rather it say Southern title match. But you notice it doesn't. It says grudge match, and uh, at least the match will occur. Jeff gets a shot at Brian Christopher. Tag team titles at stake. Simply Divine, Rex King, and Steve Dahl will be defending against Jerry Lawler and Coco Beware, which... Uh, I'm sure that's one of the things that was in the mind of Prentice and, and, and King and Dahl out here when they, when they went after Coco. Sure, see if you can, uh, if you can hurt him and, uh, and uh, weaken the team uh, for the action coming up Monday night at the Mid-South Coliseum. Well, as I said, we'll check on Coco in, uh, in just a moment and see about his situation for the Monday night match coming up. Then, Battle Bowl 93, get ready for this one. $10,000 Redman prize money to the winning team. It's a tag team battle royal. Now, we've had battle royals before. This is a tag team battle royal, and anything goes. Nine teams, 18 wrestlers in the ring. Here are the teams that are entered. The Harlem Knights, you know them. They're coming back. Harlem Knights will be there. What's their total weight? Something like... Boy, 850 pounds. Yeah, I was going to say 43,000 pounds. Or something. Oh, yeah. They are huge. That's more close. That's more like The Harlem Knights, PG-13, will be in there. Yeah. Jeff Jarrett will have as his partner, Jeff Gaylord. Boy, they make a good team. Rex King and Steve Dahl will be in this one. They say they're going to win it, no doubt yeah. about it. Well, we'll see. The Masters of Terror will be there, too. The team of Coco Ware and Jerry Lawler. Danny Davis and Randy Rocket yeah. and Brian Christopher and uh, uh, Scotty Johnny. Flamingo or Johnny Polo. Oh, no, uh, uh, Johnny Polo, I guess, the name he was going to go by uh, 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 for this particular match. Yeah, but look at that last team. The Moon Dogs. Remember, it's anything goes. Don't have to say much more. Moon Dogs, yeah. look out. Put some extra bolts in the roof of the Mid-South Coliseum. <laughs> Come Monday night at 7.30. Going to be a big one. Battle Bowl 93. $10,000 prize yeah. money. For the winner. Oh, tell you what. We're going to, uh, well, let's take a look right here. Just sort of a recap of the teams that are going to be there. And then we'll be back here with more great wrestling action for you in a moment. is the time for a custom van and chuck hutton van world is the place with over 200 vans in stock on over 26 acres chuck hutton has the best selection and lowest prices in the mid-south all the greatest names in custom vans choo choo explore timeless and vantique are at chuck hutton van world where i-240 and mount moriah meet in memphis chuck hutton van world where there's a world of difference what we do at chuck hutton van world Jolly World said never during a tent sale. Never during a bargain basement sale. Never during a six-hour sale have prices on bedrooms been as low as they are right now at Jolly Royal. Choose from a dozen different bedrooms. All come complete with dresser, mirror, chest, and headboard. Listen closely. Complete bedrooms start at $149. That's not one or two pieces. That's for a complete suit. Choose from black lacquer, red, gray, or green marble, oak, pine, mahogany, or white finishes. These aren't everyday low prices. These are once-in-a-lifetime factory direct prices for Jolly World customers only. No dealers, please. Only Jolly's got them. Only Jolly's got them. Only Jolly's got them. Why use Valvoline motor oil? It's the number one choice of Indy 500 chief mechanics. Daytona 500 chief mechanics. NHRA mechanics. 
ten Baja 1000 mechanics. For use in their race cars and in their own cars. Any more questions? People who know use Valvoline. I smoke. The rest of the group doesn't. So I bring another idea to the table. Wrigley Spearmint Gum. That cool, clean taste is something the whole group can enjoy. So instead of smoking, I pass around pure chewing satisfaction. I smoke. The people I ride with don't. So in the car, I shift to Wrigley Spearmint Gum. It's got a cool, clean taste we all can enjoy. Instead of smoking, I share a pack of pure chewing satisfaction. Watney 2 and Mark 3, two winners that add up to the one great custom van deal you can't pass up. Hi, I'm Tracy Douglas, inviting you to come see for yourself new Mark 3 Astro conversion vans or Mark 3 full-size conversion vans with air, automatic, four captain's chair, sofa, tilt, cruise, power windows and locks, fashion shades and more. Your choice, just $16,988. See our ad in Saturday's paper. You'll see there's truly something for everyone at Watney 2 Chevrolet Hyundai, Airways in Winchester at the airport. When you're looking for tires that perform, fast service and saving, NTW is the name you can count on. Dunlop, Michelin, Pirelli, NTW gives you the best on the road. NTW also offers other services, front end alignment, brake service, shocks, struts, and much more. And every tire NTW sells is backed by a 125% price guarantee. NTW, it's impossible to pay less. Inside Edition investigates a crime ring that preys on young girls. I want to talk to Jeff Jarrett just for a moment, but first, a recap of one of the greatest wrestling matches ever on this television station, uh, which happened just a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Championship match. Let's, let me refresh your memory just a little bit. Watch this match right here. The Southern title was at stake. Here we go, Christopher. There is a knee lift, said Jeff, with Jeff in, there, at least over, contest lift too, thought it could have been a quick one there, rolls it back up again there now, out of Jeff, or it's cool again, there's the kick out of Jeff, rolls him up again, shoulders down, and he can only get two. Hair pulling by Brian, Christopher yanks Jeff back to the rope, knee to the midsection, whoops him in the rope, Jeff goes under, comes back under again, and a blind press, he got him down, covers him, one, two. And Christopher gets out of it. These guys right here are tough wrestlers, both championship caliber wrestlers. Either of them can hold the Southern Heavyweight title when this day is done. Oh, indeed. You just hate to see Christopher use the kind of tactics he used. Oh, goodness, he snapped that arm. He can yeah. injure that arm like that. Lawler, of course, it was considered Jerry Lawler's belt for many, many, many years. He well, held it a if, long time. If he lost it, it wasn't long till he figured out a way to win it back. <laughs> oh, yeah! Chris for a but he catches the boot from Jerry. Look at that. Oh, now I got King and Dahl out yeah. here, too. Rex King and Steve Dahl, they're out here with Flamingo. And Jeff Jarrett continues, comes off the ropes and misses. And the fans were behind Jeff Jarrett, the Southern Heavyweight Champion. Well, but he's got his hands full today with Brian Christopher. And here comes even more cheers for the side of Christopher. Look at that! Comes off the ropes! One, two, one! Oh, so close. Man, he almost had it, but not quite. Christopher able to break out of it just before the three count hit the mat. Yeah, Jared's way out in the middle of the ring. That's Christopher on the top rope, and he drops the leg down on it. He covers it too. Watch. Oh, Jeff gets out of it. The bird man took off beware. As John Lawler, the Marinos, and Billy Jarvis. Jared hooks Christopher. One, two, and he couldn't get him. Hips his shoulders down. He only gets two out of it. Reversal after reversal. It's back and forth. And man, look at these guys around the ring. I don't think I've seen excitement about a match from other wrestlers like this since 
since that night when Jerry Lawler won the AWA title at the Memphis Mid-South Coliseum a few years ago. Everybody was into that match, and this match is starting to remind me of it, the atmosphere. And the intensity, boy, you talk about intensity. Southern heavyweight title hanging in the ballot, Christopher and Jerry. Boy, Brian Christopher, big shoulder, and he nails Jeff Jerry there with the right hand. Christopher setting Jeff up. Can't get him, though. Jared hangs on. He's got Christopher up. Suplexes him now. Takes him down with a big suplex. Reversal here. He wants Jeff into the rope. Just a two count. Jeff Jarrett climbing the rope in the corner. Brian Christopher on his hands and knees, up on his feet. He turns and Jeff presses him down to the mat. But a roll up by Brian Christopher. He got a two count. Jarrett! Fight back now. Thanks, Christopher. All right, virtually with Jeff in. since it started just like this. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe against each other. Christopher on his feet with a right fist as Jeff stands up. He's still standing as Christopher continues to hit him. Yeah. He returns fire. Jeff fights back now. Walks the ground a right hand from Christopher. Comes off the rope. Versus Christopher with a right hand. Sends him down. Jeff Jarrett comes off. Oh, look at Steve Stone. Never shot of it or not. One, he got it. Oh boy. Steve's on. Out here. Tripped up Jeff Jarrett. Jeff fell face first to the mat. And Christopher pinned him up. One, two, three. But interference from Steve Dahl. I heard it look good when they were out here. Steve Dahl tripped up Jeff Jarrett. And now, Brian Christopher being treated as a hero over here. Well, not an ending we wanted to see on that, but uh, a great match nonetheless. Jeff, before we talk about that, did you see Coco? How's he doing? Right yeah, now? they're checking on him right now, Dave. They're either checking Coco out in the back right now. Very good, and uh, let's talk about this Battle Bowl 93 coming up. Boy, there's a lot of things going on, and I've got a lot of things on my mind. But what I want to talk about today is not what's, what's going to be happening. It's what's not happening. And Brian Christopher, you just saw the tape, and I'm sure you're sitting in the back. Uh, being real happy and probably got the belt and you're real happy, probably kissing it like you do. And Dave, you know it isn't my style, and the people know it's not my style to come out here and air out wrestling business. Because in the past I've gone and made challenges to other federations, to other guys, and I hadn't really said much about it. But Brian Christopher, you know you have been ducking and dodging me. And everyone knows, and especially me, that you are a coward. That's exactly right. You are a devout coward, Brian. Because right now, you're back there with that belt around your waist and you don't respect anything. No, you don't respect the great legends in the past. And I, 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 I hate to repeat myself, but Brian, it's the truth. You don't respect anything about this business. You take it as a joke. You take the fans as a joke. You take your wrestling as a joke. Inside, outside of the ring, everything. And Brian, it makes me sick to my stomach to know that for ten, over 10 years, Jerry Lawler held that belt and he held it proudly. And now that's exactly what I'm trying to do, to be a people's champion. That's right. And Brian, what do you do? You make fun of it. And everyone knows you're a coward. And Brian, you are picking your opponent. You are hand-picking them. You are ducking me and Jerry like no one has ever been. I mean, you don't even want to... The contracts have been laid out in front of you. I've done everything possible to get a title match, and you won't give it. Well, Brian, I've got my match. No, you may, you may be able to duck a title match, but you can't duck a grudge match. And, Brian, you're going to wish you never even heard the word Jeff Jarrett. You're going to wish the word that you've never seen Jeff Jarrett because I'm going to beat two things into you. One out and one in. I'm going to beat some respect into you and make you respect things and then I'm going to take the title away from you. 
That's right. And Brian, I mean, and, da and Dave, I, look, I got that off my chest. And now Battle Bowl 93, big events coming up this week. The Moon Dogs, the Harlem Knights, a bunch of great tag teams. And you know, when the Moon Dogs come to ring ringside, they always have a board or a chair or a can. Well, I'm not going to come unprepared. So Battle Bowl 93, I can't wait. And Brian, between now and match time, I'm going to do everything I can to get that title match. There's a word from Jeff Jarrett. He's got Brian Christopher coming up this week, but it is not in a title match, unfortunately, and I know that's the way he wants it. Battle Bowl 93 coming up. More action coming up right here. Line Meats presents its Super Steak Sale. 300 pounds of meat for $150. 200 pounds of choice beef, including steak, roast, ground beef, and more. Plus a free bonus, 100 pounds of pork and poultry. That's 300 pounds of meat for $150. Charge it or 90 days, same as cash. Open a new account and receive 100 free steaks, 50 top sirloin, 50 top ribeye. All meats are fully guaranteed with 20 cents per pound processing. That's 300 pounds of meat for $150. Call 393-0227. Hi, folks, Bob Burkheimer from Sunrise Pontiac GMC Truck. Thinking about a top-of-the-line conversion van or customized truck for summer? Well, this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, Sunrise is offering special prices on over 100 customized vans and trucks. Starcraft, Imperial, Tierra, Texas Show Trucks, and Southern Comfort will all have factory executives on site, saving ties $8,000 on some units. A free car phone with every purchase, hot dogs, cokes, and balloons for the kids, the three-day customized van and truck sale this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, only at Sunrise, the ugliest building on Covington Pike, Memphis. find out about this in court? Imagine a system of justice you cannot comprehend. Was evidence mishandled? Were facts ignored? Were witnesses bribed? That's a lie. I never said that. And then imagine facing life in prison without possibility of parole. What would you do? Oscar winner Tatum O'Neill, Woman on the Run, NBC Sunday. Brian Christopher. Not much more that has to be said than just that. Brian Cruz. Well, well, well. Dave Brown, the weather clown. <laughs> and what are you doing back there, Corey Macklin, with that stupid look on your face, huh? If you want to talk about matches or you want to, you want to steal Jimmy Hart lines here. <laughs> I guess you got that stupid look on your face because you're stupid, aren't you, Corey? Huh? Come on, come on, let's talk about let's talk about wrestling here. I will talk about, talk about what I want to talk about and when I want to talk about it, Dave. Nobody tells me what to do. You understand? Now, now, did you see Jeff Jarrett out here crying and singing the blues? <laughs> he was literally crying. I saw a tear come out of your eyes, Jeff Jarrett. I won't this. I won't that. I want this. I want a title shot. <laughs> well, Jeff Jarrett, you've been spoon-fed all your life. You've been given everything you've ever got. But right now, as of today, it comes to a screeching halt. You understand me? I call the shots from now on. You know, Jeff Jarrett and Jerry Lawler, they think. They think that the world just revolves around them. Well, listen to me. It don't, you understand? The world revolves around important people. People that have titles around their waist, just like me. That's why, you see, all these imbeciles know it. I am a people's champion. I am somebody that everybody can look up to. I'm somebody that everybody can just idolize, you understand? I like that word, idolize, because everybody idolizes Brian Christopher. Now, Jeff, Jeff, you're out here crying and singing the blues. You want a title shot. Well, earn a title shot, boy. I'm sick and I'm tired of you. 
You've been given everything you got. Earn something for once in your life, like I had to do. I've had to earn everything I got. So, Jeff Jarrett, you think I'm scared of you? You think every time I hear the name Jeff Jarrett, my knees start shaking? Well, every time I hear your name, I get sick to my stomach because I hate you. I hate you, Jeff Jarrett. Well, I'm not ducking anybody, and I'm not running from no one. I'm the champion. Well, you're, you're not too uh, anxious to sign a title match. Jeff is upset with you for that reason, and also because it seems that you keep interfering in all his matches, and I've got some videotape right here to prove it. Watch this you video. You ain't got, right. I don't want to see... Right King Steve Dahl and Brian Christopher now jumping on referee Frank Morrell, referee Paul Neighbors, Jeff Jarrett and Jeff Gaylord after 14 minutes and 20 seconds and retaining the USWA World Tag Team title. Defending the Southern title right here, jumps Danny Davis. Davis in here to try to take the Southern title away from him as Christopher continues to refuse to give the rematch to Jeff Jarrett. But he says, yeah, book me in a title match again. Mm, how about Danny Davis? So the title is at stake here. Look at this. Oh, Danny flies under! Set him up and ho oh, ho! Oh. <laughs> Big atomic knee drop from Nightmare Danny Davis. Danny Davis and Brian Christopher. Watch it be a good single bout. Christopher leaps over and set. Big ball out from Danny and again takes Christopher down. Christopher out on the floor here. Time to regroup. Yeah, maybe this is not going to be quite as easy as you thought there, Brian Christopher. Danny Davis got the crowd behind him, no doubt about it. Christopher defending the title here today, but not against the man that the fans want to see him defend the title against, and that would be Jeff Jarrett. He said Jeff's going to have to earn the title shot, earn the rematch. Yeah. Oh, look at Danny Davis go after him. Yeah, I, I think Christopher just earned the right hand from Danny Davis out there. Well, I tell you what Christopher knows about Jeff Jarrett. He knows that uh, he, Christopher, would not be the champion right now, probably, if it hadn't been for interference from outside yeah. by Simply Divine in the championship match in which he won the belt. What about him earning the belt? He never earned it with that kind of victory. Only two, Danny Davis can hold it. Christopher kicks out of it and two gets on his feet and slams down on Danny Davis. <laughs> Brian Christopher, the USWA Southern Heavyweight Champion, defending his title right here on TV today. Boy, what a program we've had for you today. As always, the USWA action, hot and rolling. Oh, boy. It closed by that time. Takes Danny down. Two! And Davis kicks out. Danny Davis with the fans behind him. Trying to get enough strength to keep going in there. Christopher slows him down. Right hand to the midsection. Whips him into the rope. Danny catches an elbow from Christopher. Goes for the cover. Two! And... And he kicks out of it too. Referee Tini still confirming only a two count. That's Brian Christopher up on the middle rope. Oh, slams down right on Danny Davis. Boy, he came off of there and nailed Danny. Flipped him over with a big right hand in there, coming flying off the middle rope. He's got him covered again too. Danny Davis kicks out at two. 
Santa able to hang on, hold on in there. Leaves not submit to the one, two, three. Christopher! Oh, working over Danny Davis. Danny Davis giving away size here, but he's done that in many, many wrestling matches that he's been in in his career. Brian Christopher, the confident one. Oh, oh look at this. Look at that, Danny. There's that flip. Only one. Oh, boy. I thought he could have got it. That's the kind of move that can beat the champion, but Christopher's still alive. Oh, oh. Mistake by Christopher. Danny Davis caught him in the midsection with a right fist. Yeah, Danny. Went for the whip him in the rope tap. He comes off. Sets up Christopher. Rolls him over. Only one. Thought he was going to be able to hook him and get a one, two, three. Danny Davis looking mighty good. Very close to being the Southern champion. Ooh. Big chop. Boy, you can hear that one all over the studio. That stunned Christopher. Boy, that one stung me. <laughs> Danny Davis. Catches him with a forearm, takes him down, goes for the cover. Only two, though. Danny thought he might have had him there. He was counting along with the referee, but it was only to be a two count. Look at this. Reverse neck breaker by Danny Davis. Does he go for the cover? Yes. And Danny going for the cover on Christopher. But boy, you got this Christopher stuff. You got to give him credit. Time winding down here. A special agreement for time limit for television, expiration of time. And time, uh, that predetermined time limit is coming very close. This warning of this as uh, the Southern title match continues. There's Brian Christopher with a cover. Count of two. Oh, no. I thought that oh, was it. Yeah. I thought we were looking at the successful defense right there, but Danny Davis at the last instant broke the cover. Less than 30 seconds to go in this match. Christopher suplexes him over. Cover, Danny Davis. Ah, Lightmare kicks out at two. But... Time is just about up in this one. Danny Davis rolls him up. Now one, two. Oh he can't get it to stick. And Tom's running out for Nightmare Danny Davis to capture the Southern Heavyweight title for Brian Christopher. Christopher whips him into the rope. CDC on him. What? Well, Danny may have time. Oh, he doesn't have time for a cover. Yeah, that's going to be it. Time has expired. This one is going to officially be a draw. Time has expired. It is a draw. We've got to take a break. We'll be back and recap the situation in just a moment. Thinking about going to college? Think Shelby State Community College. It's the college of choice for high school graduates and working adults. Shelby State offers low tuition and fees, a variety of classes and schedules to fit your busy lifestyle at four convenient locations around Memphis. If you are still undecided about which college you want to attend this fall, it's not too late to enroll at Shelby State. Call 544-5900 for an admission application. Register for summer classes May 26th. New Toyota pickups, 93 down, 93 a month for all of 93. Come get excited at Airport Toyota. Arkansas, Mississippi, Tennessee, you'll be excited when you see the savings today at Airport Toyota. And car or truck, it's your choice. New to sell or Toyota pickup like this, just 93 down, 93 a month for all of 93. Or drive a new air-conditioned Camry like this for just $239 a month. No matter where you live, the time is now. I'm Suzanne, come see me at Airport Toyota, Mill Branch, not 240. brings you the Chill Out Special. $22.99 a week lets you rent to own a sofa and love seat to kick back on. Or a JVC stereo to jam out to. Or a JVC TV VCR combo to watch a flick with. Or a GE air conditioner to stay cool. Kick back, jam out, watch a flick, and stay cool. Chill out with Rentronic. 
America's home for rent to own. Hey, we're so excited about Memphis in May that we've just lowered prices on every car and truck in our giant inventory. Hi, folks. I'm Dan Walton at Performance Toyota in Memphis, the other guy. Hey, here's just one example of how we can save you money. Hurry in right now. You can drive home in a brand new Toyota Camry LE just like this one. I'm talking about all the bells and whistles. And the best part, you pay no money down and just $289 a month, folks. Plus, your performance. You always get that positive, friendly attitude. One place, Performance Toyota. Not Mariah Admitted Hall in Memphis. We're the other guys, so you come and see us. No matter what you do, arthritis pain can make you stop. When arthritis pain stops you, go for the green. Arthritis strength BC in the green pack. Get back on the go, go for the green. Arthritis strength BC with the power to stop pain fast. Go for the green. Arthritis strength BC with the maximum pain reliever allowed to give you the go ahead. Get back on the go, go for the green. Arthritis strength BC. If you want to see some really dramatic views, just head straight down this road. The Hot Stars, the big hit, USA Network Movies. Dennis Hall's Auto Salvage, home of a million parts. Call or come by 3100 Gill Road and see Dennis Hall's large inventory of both domestic and foreign parts. Bumper-to-bumper -bumper body parts used in rebuilt engines and transmissions. They also specialize in both new and used glass replacement for all makes and models of cars and trucks. For steering column and depth repair, Dennis Hall's guaranteed the lowest prices in Memphis. Hi, I'm Chris. Real deal talking for the best prices in town. Come on down. I went to check on Coco, and the king says, yeah, we're going to come out. He's, he's okay, I think. I want to say something to you, Burt Prentice and Simply Divine. If you're back there looking at your monitors, I'm sure you see right now, you didn't get the job done. You didn't get accomplished what you needed to get accomplished. You three jerks came out here, and you tried to do a little more than just hurt somebody. You tried to do a little more than just put somebody out of commission. And we know what you tried to do. But like I said, as you can see, you didn't get the job done. Because unlike you, Burt Prentice, Coco Ware is a man. And this is a man right here that can take anything that you three idiots can dish out. Now get ready, because Simply Divine, you think you came out here and signed a contract with Burt Prentice for him to manage you. But as far as we're concerned, you signed your death warrant, boy, because we're... We got some bad in store for you. And Bert Prentice, Bert Prentice, you say you just came from Hawaii? Well, you know what they have down in Hawaii? They have big luau's. That's when they have the big feast. Everybody gathers around, and they get a big, fat roasting pig, and they stick an apple in its mouth, and they roast it. Well, Bert Prentice, Monday night, I got the apple, pal. I'm going to stick it in your big fat mouth and we're going to roast you like the pig that you are. The king with Coco and Coco will be looking for a Monday night too. You know what, Dave? Pretty if you should have did me in when you had your chance. You should have did me in because you didn't do me in, baby. I'm back. And nobody, nobody puts a stamp around my neck. Because Jim Down Days is over with. I'll tell you now, Prentice, you done stirred up the bird man. And I tell you what, you bring in the damn body you want to bring, because I'm going to beat the hell out of I don't care. That's why I know you're upset like that, King. Because he don't trust me, baby. Nobody used a belt on me. Nobody. Monday night. That's when, that's when to get him, Coco. Monday night. I know you're upset, Coco. 
Monday night down at the uh, down at the Coliseum. That's when to do it. Lawler and Coco will be a team. And now they've got extra incentive going against those guys in the person of Burt Prentice, who is uh, going to be there. Boy, I want to take Coco's it there. upset. You can't uh, blame boy, him for Absolutely it. not. At all. Goodness gracious, try to choke him with that belt around his neck oh, out here. Ridiculous. That's We're going to take a look at the whole card coming up in just a moment. First, though, I want to remind you again of the, uh, the brand new USWA 900 number that, uh, that the King uh, talked about earlier. Uh, there it is right there, one 900 Seven seven three five four six four. Now, as the King mentioned, uh, there there are all sorts of special features on there, and uh, I just got confirmation just a few moments ago. Uh, we know one of the great problems fans have called and said, "Hey, we can't get the wrestling results. We can't always find out who won the matches." And so I I have been uh, been assured that uh, we're going to find a way to get uh, the wrestling results from the Coliseum on the USWA hotline. Indeed. So make a note of that one nine hundred. 773-5464, the USWA hotline. All right, let's take a look. Speaking of Monday, let's take a look at the action coming up at the Mid-South Coliseum. Middleweight title match will open things on a huge night. The winner of the TV title match earlier today, Master of Terror. He did it when yet another Master of Terror appears and interferes in the match. Master of Terror is the new champion, the middleweight title holder, the former champion, Danny Davis, gets shot at him, though, and this is the man he wanted, he wanted to have as his opponent so he can try to take that belt back Monday night in the opening match. That tells you what kind of night you're going to have when that's the opening match of the night. PG-13 will be going against both of the Masters of Terror in a match which comes up after that. J.C. Ice and uh, Wolfie D feeling, and quite correctly, that the Masters of Terror cost Wolfie D his middleweight title earlier here today. A grudge match coming up, Jeff Jarrett against Brian Christopher. The Southern title is not at stake in this one, and I know fans would want to see that Southern title at stake and see Jeff get a chance at it, but it's just a grudge match, Jarrett against Brian Christopher. Tag titles are on the line, Simply Divine, Rex King, and Steve oh, Dahl. Boy, yeah. Going against Jerry Lawler and Coco Beware. Burt uh, Prentice will be there, and look out, Prentice. King's got that apple in his hand. Then Battle Bowl 93, 18 wrestlers, nine top tag teams, including the Moon Dogs, who will be there, the Harlem Knights, uh, Jeff Jarrett and Jeff Gaylord, Lawler and Coco Wear, all the names you see right here. It's going to be a big night Monday night. We hope you'll be joining us for more USWA Championship Wrestling action next week. Indeed. Until then, for Corey Macklin, I'm Dave Brown. So long, everybody. The announcers on this program are selected and paid by parties other than this station, namely the promoters of USWA Championship Wrestling. Everybody, Dave Brown, Corey Macklin here at uh, ringside, ready to go with another day of USWA Championship Wrestling. But today, a little bit, uh, a little bit different start for the program. The King has joined us right here with uh, something, uh, something very special. Well, uh, it is very special, and every week here on USWA Wrestling, it was always special for me to come out of that dressing room door and and always an enjoyable situation to walk past all the great wrestling fans that have been here over the years, shake hands, greet them, and always the last person that I shook hands with right before I came over here to talk to you and Corey was a guy that was a great friend of mine named Ernest Everhart. He always stood right here next to the desk and he was the head of USWA security. And uh, it's, you know, a sad occasion, the fact that uh, Ernie passed away this past week. And as a matter of fact, his funeral is today. And I wanted to come out here and say that we want to dedicate this show today to Ernie. And a lot of people, I, I got a little bit of, uh, if, if, if I could, if, there may be some people out there that are not familiar with who Ernie is. Uh, the show, of course, goes all over, all over the country. And uh, in Memphis every week, I had 
my own show for years, the Jerry Lawler Show, and, and Ernie was a mainstay on there. He was on uh, as a guest several times, and he was on as, a, as my own personal bodyguard. And I just have a couple of little clips here with Ernie in it, so I wanted to show these. He would love that. And, uh, and then I had a couple more words I wanted to say. But here's uh, a couple of shots of our friend Ernest Everhart. Oh, wait, 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 and we're going to show it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey, you're late, man. It's time for your drum lesson, man. Drum lesson? Oh, my yeah. gosh, my drum lesson. You're taking drum lessons? Uh, do what? You're taking drum lessons? No, I teach drum lessons. Wait. You teach them? Yeah, hang on. Go ahead and... Uh, Where are you going? Do the blast from the past. I'll be, I'll be right back. Hang on. <sighs> Just do the blast from the past. He's teaching drum lessons? We're back and take, take a look at that. <laughs> 400 shows in hair on Ernie's head. Ernie is back and he has had his, he has had his head redone today to co commemorate the 400th show. That's great. You know it is. Something got to be wrong with a man that would do that to his head. <laughs> no, it's great. Oh. And we appreciate him coming by here and doing Thanks. that on our, on our special 400th show. Atlanta at Dallas. That's a big game. It is a big game. And it's after six years, Dallas is in the playoffs again. But I'm going to go with an upset. I'm going to pick the Atlanta Falcons. <laughs> You're going to make a lot of people mad. Well, you know, right. Hammer, he's so, it's, it's, yeah, he, he, he won't be there, though, in Dallas. Quit. Boy, that hockey coach was mad, wasn't he, Coach Fun? <laughs> well, we'll be back in a minute, and with my bodyguard here today, we'll be back with um, the Memphis card and the me number. Well, there he was. Uh, Ernest was a great friend, uh, not only of mine, but everybody here in the USWA, and he loved wrestling, uh, and, and, you know, it's great to have friends like that, and it's really tough to lose them, and I think a lot of people you know like to remember somebody with a moment of silence in a situation like this but i think ernie would like to be remembered with maybe a big round of applause from this great studio audience that he loved to be with every day so we're good let's just hear it one time for ernie everhart okay and like i said we want to dedicate this show today to ernie and i know he's he's watching us somewhere ernie thank you king we'll be right back 